Hey, down here, we're going to another beer review. Hope you got us in the light. We're going to be uh, reviewing another beer that Chris got us. Mm -hmm. We're going to review a Moroccan Brown Ale by Spearhead Brewing Company out of uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, Moroccan Brown Ale, full flavored American style brown ale with Moroccan accent, brewed with raisins, dates, figs, and cinnamon. Hey. It is unfiltered and naturally carbonated. To provide a complex character, which will, with, oh, sorry, a complex character with roots of dried fruit, roots of dried plum fruit? and brown sugar. Hmm. Crap. Unfiltered beer. Pour gently. However, I don't believe in pouring unfiltered beers gently, so we'll get a little roll. So here we go. That's got a beer with a border boundaries. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get a step back. And back. We gotta we gotta keep Chris back because or else he won't be in the camera. We have <laughs> giant we have giant things here. There you go, sir. Oh yeah, we got we got the cloud in this. Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells good. <laughs> yep. Should be more of a Moroccan red than a brown. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely not a whole lot of head I left on mine. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there. Smell it. Doesn't smell uh, bad. Doesn't smell great, but. Yeah. Sugary. Wives are laughing at us, uh, laughing at us over there. Uh. Well, there's that uh, definite, uh, uh, yeah, stuff, stuff and things. There is that thickiness there. It's kind of got that weird sugary, soury sweetness kind of going on. It's not that great. Yeah. I mean, for a brown ale, it's more. We'll go with more of a red. <clears throat> yeah. It, yeah. Can't deny that's almost red. Yeah, definitely not a brown ale. It definitely pushing more to the amber red kind of thing going. Amber, on. that's the word I was looking for. Oh, you're getting the good stuff at the bottom. Bring it out. Bring it out. All hold right, on. hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I give it a beta three. Smells good. Smells better than it tastes. Yeah. It's not that... It's a weird taste that I don't really like. It's very tropical. Rock and brown ale. I mean... What's in it? Raisins, dates, figs. And cinnamon. I'm not getting any cinnamon off it, though. No. Actually, it'd be better if you could taste a little bit of salmon off it. It would counter back most of the uh, rest of the spices that are in it. No, that would make it worse. I hate cinnamon. I love cinnamon. But there's... And I hate raisins too, but I'm not going to eat raisins off it. But there is dates and figs and stuff in there. Yeah. What would you rate it? I gave it a three. Yeah, I'll give it a... It's not the worst I've had, but definitely not the best I've had. Yeah, I'll go... Two and a half. I'll pass it. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not something I'd ever buy again. Nope, definitely not buying it again. I mean, I would definitely share it with somebody. Like, obviously. Yeah. It's a nice little little share beer. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not good. It's nothing that like. It's like that thirteen dollars for a six pack at uh, at the local liquor store. So. <clears throat> and fuck. I'm thank. It's a good thing they have them in singles. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I couldn't imagine buying a six pack of this. Nope. Anyways, guys. Cheers. We'll be back here. Cheers. Here in a bit, because we have a giant stick to try. All right.
Cheers, guys.